Notice the camellia behind me. That was transplanted from another part of the garden. It's coming along fine. But this is the typical foliage of that camellia. Now, notice this one that's discolored. That's caused by sunburn because of the heat of the sun. So plants that get that kind of condition, we want to give them a little extra special care when the temperatures really get high. Here's another example of rhododendron sun damage. Sometimes it'll appear in this fashion, just a spot here and there, and very often the foliage above helps cover part of the leaf so then it remains green. Or one that's fully exposed can look like this. And by the way, the cutouts here, this was done by a bee. It's called a cutter bee. And it makes its nest with parts of the foliage, and in this case, it selected the rhododendron foliage. Now, here's another, uh, what I consider a very important lesson. You'll notice the flower on this butterfly bush, or budlia, is through flowering. You'll notice if you go back on the stem a little bit further, that there's a branching here. And if I go in and cut like so, removing this old flower, this is what happens. I'll show you right up here. See, I took the old flower stem out of this one, and now look, two flowers in place of the one. And you know, a lot of you that have the butterfly bush or budlias wonder why they don't flower all summer. Well, it's simple that you have to take off the old flower. And you know, that's so true of so many of Mother Nature's plants. Get rid of the old flower and then new flowers will continue to come on. And this was in gorgeous flower and has been in fact twice already this summer and it's coming on now with its third flush of flower and I'll bet you we'll get four flowerings out of it. So if you'll just keep the dead flowers picked, that's what's important. Look at here at the zinnias. Beautiful flowers, aren't they? Do you know that these plants were gorgeous earlier? Look at the foliage there. Oh, wow. Just absolutely ruined, isn't it? Typical damage is slugs. How did I correct it? What I did was to take a pop bottle, a plastic pop bottle, cut it right down through the middle, like so, turn, put a little bit of slug bait inside, turned the top and inverted it in the bottom. Now, the slug bait's inside, the slugs are drawn inside, they crawl inside to get the bait and die. And so you don't have the mess of slug bait, but at the same time your bait is inside, so hopefully it's protected from the dogs and the cats and the birds and, and small children even. And the beauty here is that you can easily hide it in the foliage of your plants. Hope that helps you control your slugs and also to keep your budlias blooming and to protect your plants as well.